Browns fan. What's up, Swill? Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let yeah. see who else are your folks out there. At Blaze? Yeah, yeah Blaze. Yeah, I know so many yeah. of your folks down there. Yeah. Mosses, Calhoun, yeah. Lyle County. See, yeah. I used to go to, you know, she's a baby. Yeah, man, she's You want your way up here? I could stand like this. All right. I'll see you again here. What, you recording that too? You feel what I'm saying? Cause I'm gonna let everybody know that it is, it's going down. You know what I'm saying? Shout out so real. So it's going down on the 16th, February 16th. It's going up, down. We had so many folk been calling me for birthday parties and man, VIP. Yeah, and I done told so many people, man, you know what I'm saying? You know, it's going down. So, you know, I ain't trying to, um, I ain't trying to take uh, the mansion business. I'm just gonna do a picture, man, Tony thing. You feel what I'm saying? Bring the music, bring the crowd. We shut it down, who we are, daddy found. Bring the music, bring the music, bring the crowd. Got the one and only picture man, Tony, president, CEO, 10 star fam. Want to just talk to you um, for a few minutes, Tony, ask you a couple of questions to see what's going on in this part of your career as far as promotions and your marketing strategies. It looks like you um, got a new location where, new venue, new club where you're going to be throwing your events at. Can you tell us, you know, um, you see it's Club Blaze or whatever, what you got coming up next? Yeah, man, we try to uh, upgrade the thing, man. It's time, it's time in my life, man, that I need to upgrade, you know what I'm saying? Um, just doing Pitch Man Tony thing. Got a new spot, Club Blaze. Finna bring some excitement to the town, you know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. uh, especially when the time we ain't getting no artists here. So it's time to bring some excitement. So let me ask you this, Tony. What is going on? I've noticed um, right now with this February 2013, and we're getting ready to hit the peak of in income tax season. And um, I don't know any upscheduled shows going on as far as rap artists, R&B artists. Because I know you was um, you had did a few rap shows or whatever. And you also brought a couple of adult um, film stars to town or whatever. But it seemed like you don't have it on your plate now. So where are you going as far as that direction? Uh, I am the show. I am the show. <laughs> I don't need artists no more. <laughs> Only thing I need that money, women's, <laughs> and these big ass birthday parties. <laughs> I am the show. <laughs> so what you're saying is, even though we're coming in the peak income tax season time, there is no need to bring no artists to draw no big crowds. No, no, no. What I want to do is I want to get the money to the people. I want to put together maybe a thousand up to a five thousand dollar giveaway. And that's giving money back to the people. So what you're saying is, instead of paying the artists ten or twenty thousand to come perform, you'd rather take some money that you make and actually give your customers and the people in the community a chance to win the money back. Yes, yes, yes. No uh, ticket drawing at the door, different type of contests. Um, I'd rather give that money to the people because I'm a people person. So let me ask you this, Tony. Do you feel like? The club scene in Montgomery has changed so drastically that there's no demand to see rap artists because rap artists was a big part of the club scene in Montgomery over the last maybe 10 years. This, this is what happened. When they made Twitter and all this Facebook, Facebook. it's so easy to people to touch the artists now. So they not making a big thing coming seeing the artists. So what you're saying is no, it's really no aura you know, you, you're not excited a geek because you can reach out to the people on Instagram. You follow them on Facebook and Twitter yeah. every day. So the person feel like they're more personable with the person. And it takes away the thrill of seeing them in person. Yeah, that's like, uh, I talked to P. Diddy. So it don't, P. Diddy don't cite me no more. You understand me? Yeah. People know Walker Flocker. People know a lot of people. You know what I'm saying? not exciting no more to see an artist after you can reach to Roger Rick and touch to him. The hottest person I think that people come see is LaBoosie. Okay. Besides LaBoosie, I don't know no artist that I really will pay all that money to to bring down for, you know, I don't want to, you know, you, you feel what I'm saying? Yeah. So you, you, 
you're going to an all new location, Club Blaze. It's a new club in the city. It's fresh. It's 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 like a it's like a big old virgin pussy waiting to get fucked. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, it's going down, man. You it's know fresh. What I'm so, so let me ask you this, let me ask you this, Tony. With being at a at a new club in an all new location, will you change any type of marketing strategies or will you change the type of themes of your parties? Will it still be the ten star family? What what are you going in that direction? Man, we're gonna do the same old thing, man. We just gonna bring um, I'm gonna reach out to more and more people, probably one coming to my other events and other venues. Now they'll feel home, feel at home with at Blake. So let me ask you this: You feel like coming to a new club, a new environment, with a new program in a place that really don't have no type of baggage or anything? You think that it will help bring more people out and will help your brand? to establish bringing a wide range of people out to your different functions and events? Oh yeah, it, it's not that the, uh, you know, my old venue had badges or anything. It just, it's a new place and people want to be, when they're going to be curved, what that place look like, what it going to be, you feel what I'm saying? And right now at Blade, you know, uh, to me, I'm more comfortable as running my program. You know, I don't care what it is. Mm -hmm. If I got a performance, I'm going to perform, he's going to perform. Mm -hmm. If uh, if I got whatever VIP list, they coming in. Okay, so what what you're really trying to say is you have more of a peace of mind coming over the blade. Yeah, I, ha I have a, a great peace of mind. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Uh, it just you know they put everything in my hand. I don't have to um, answer to nobody but myself. So if something don't get done, then that's on me. Gotcha. You feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But uh, I appreciate all the other club owners that I have done business for. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? I appreciate y'all. You feel what I'm saying? Y'all help me out a lot. So what it, you're saying is this 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 is a career move. And this in, is a career in, move in, in, myself. In, yeah, in a career, that's what is a, a career is about when you start off from the bottom and you may you may work at McDonald's and then you might go to KFC because KFC is offering better incentives. Or you may be with this company and go to another company because it's a better situation, maybe financially, maybe incentive based or whatever. So what you're saying is this is just another stepping stone in your career to get to the peak and the mountaintop that you want to get to. Oh yeah, man, it's it definitely, man, a, a new stepping stone for me. I just feel, like I said, I feel a peace of mind. So let me ask you this, um, Picture Man Tony. So you're bringing your whole 10 Star fam, which I see you got your badge on, 10 Star family. So your 10 star members will be coming with you over here to Club Blaze. And um, what will be the first, the very first event for Pitcher Man Tony and 10 star family right at Club Blaze? Man, February 16th is going down. I got 30 birthday parties. I got live performances. Uh, it's going down February 16th. Okay, after February 16th, what will be some upcoming attractions and dates that you will be doing over here at Club Blaze? Every first Friday and every Friday. First Friday, every Friday, I'm, it's going down at Blake. So that first Friday, what would be the date on that? Would that be that um, March the 1st? March the 1st. March the 1st. So you're saying March the 1st, you'll start your first Friday, and then each and every Friday after that, you'll be rolling right here at Club Blaze, and then you'll have other special events that you'll be doing at doing Club Blaze. I, I might throw a bit on a Saturday, and I um, also network with other promoters, working with people that, you know, that, that I, it's a lot of people out in the street that that, uh, that, 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 that can that bring quality, something to the table. Yeah, got mm -hmm. that quality to promote but never had that chance. Mm -hmm. So that's what I'm here for. I'm here for uh, to give people chance mm -hmm. and make a little money. So what you're saying is people that have the following or have the drive and have the know-how to do pro parties and promotions, you want to work with them and show them really how to do it the right and proper way because you've been doing it for so many years. Man, you hit dead on the nail. <laughs> I wonder who this dude is that's asking you all these hell of a questions. I don't know who it is. People may not recognize it, boy. They might recognize that laugh. We got Big Wimble back here behind the mic. But I'm going to do it one more time. <laughs> uh, Picture Man Tony, Club Blaze, February the 16th. That's the first big event, 30 birthday parties. 
first Friday, March the 1st, the big first Friday party, each and every Friday after that, and then be looking at the special events going on at Club Blade. Look at him bringing in other artists, local artists, working with them, trying to help them work with their craft, bringing in other promoters, working together, being a unity, trying to bring, you want to bring the city together, the promoters together, the rappers together, the people together, and be as one, and be the great, fabulous city that we can be in Montgomery, Alabama. Live! <laughs> TV show. Hey, Whipple, hey. we're going to the top, Whipple. Man, and, uh, shit, man. I'm right. Man, we're doing I'm a right. video party Thursday, February. Uh, what day they gonna be? February 7th, we're doing a video party. So, like I say, man, it, it's gonna be. It's gonna be. Uh, just, it's just gonna be a picture, man. Tony's doing his thing. Yeah, this picture, man, Tony, put it down. Super L. Super L. Big country, and put them, we played it just for the ladies, y'all. Yeah, we're from business side of the blade. Let's go inside, boy. Man, we finna into the pool room now. Check it out, check it out. Nah, man, check it out, check it out. Now we're gonna go check out the kitchen area. Well, we're gonna hit the bar first. All the drinks gonna be served up. We're gonna be doing this thing live, man. At Blaze. Picture man told a new home. I'm gonna be like, I'm gonna be like the pussy, better believe it. Alright, this gonna be the photo booth. It's gonna be the photo booth. It's gonna be the biggest photo booth in any club in the whole state of Alabama. It's called put up by eight or ten backdrops here. We're gonna set it off. February 16th, first night, Blaze. Off. All my ladies free photos. All my ladies free photos so now so we're getting hurt as so. Man, who's gonna be here taking all the pictures, man? She and Whoop and Picture Man Tony. Live. Let's go. We're in the kitchen. This was this, this is down room area here. You know what I'm saying? You don't get the food. You wanna go out there, you wanna chill, sit down and eat. Big shout out to DJ Squirrel. Big nasty, what's up? Some of the bigger artists that perform right on the stage. Live. Some of the, some of the biggest dumb money contests ever. Live, right here on this stage. That's right. We're going to put it. We're going to put it. Friday night, live, right here in Blade, man. You know what I'm saying? First Friday in March, every Friday we live right here in Blade. We're going to go to the hottest DJs in the city. Yeah, man, we're going to be live right here. We got the air to show you what's Biggest birthday party goes down. You know what I'm saying? The VIP. Let's hit me up. 651 Book your birthday party for absolutely free. This man's on that control to die. No cut line, no skip line, no waiting line. It's going down live. Right here, it's late. It's, 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 about, it's just about this man's tone to 10 stop thing. You know what I'm saying? This, this gonna do me. Damn, what were you recording that shit? Man. Man, that was up, man. We were working. Yeah, it's going down, man. February 16th. And then it's going down first Friday, man. First Friday, going to be stupid, though. Shout out so real. What's up, Daily Sound? Ten star, where you at, nigga? See you, Pigeon Man Tony. Loop boy. Fully loaded. M80. One. Bring the mirror. Bring the crowd. We shut it down. Who we here? Then it's found. Bring the mirror.
brand. Niggas from the east, south, west side, north side of Montgomery, man. Get ready, nigga. Cause here we go. One, two, three.